It's the Burner, man. Back with Burner Talks. And it seems like Paul George could be on his way out from the L.A. Clippers. Before I go into what I mean, it'd be greatly appreciated if you guys could hit that like button and subscribe if you're new because I'm going to be keeping you guys up to date on NBA news all year long. And if you did hit that like button, comment Paul George in the comment section. Let's see if we can get to the goal of 10 likes before we get to 100 views. But... This is pretty much what I mean. The Golden State Warriors will offer Paul George a four-year max contract via Brian Windhorse. So let's dive into this. In the comments section, you guys let me know. Would you offer Paul George a max contract at 34 years old? Let me know in the comment section. But this is pretty much my take on it. When I think about a max contract, it's only two things that come to mind. Either you are a bona fide superstar who can consistently take over the game or a prospect to become a superstar that can take over the game like a Wimby. Just, it's just going to be a matter of time before he's that guy. So one of those type things gives me max contract vibes. Um, and to be honest, I love Paul George. I love his game. He has a smooth game. But I got to be honest, at 34 years old, some a guy that's – Injury prone. I don't know if I can give you the max contract, man. I'm just going to be honest. If it's me, um, I know you got to get him out of L.A. because I think L.A. didn't want to give him a max contract. So you got to do what you got to do to try to get him on your team. But I don't know if he's worth it at this point. You know what I'm saying? It's been times where it looks like he doesn't even care if he wins or loses. You know, at, at points during that Maverick series when... Kawhi went down. Those were the perfect times for you to take over those games. I mean, you did you did have a couple 30-point games, but it was no urgency. In game six, there was definitely no urgency from you in an elimination game, almost like you did not care. So I don't know if I'm giving a guy like that a max contract, you know. And if you're Don Levy and the Warriors, is that even smart doing that? You have a lot of holes on your team. It's been times where Steph Curry, look, Steph Curry's looking like early LeBron. You know what I'm saying? I'm going out here giving my all, scoring 30, and I don't have any help. So if you have a team like that, you need to fill some of those holes. You got the only way to fill some of those holes is to get better role players. Yeah, you need another star to score but you giving him a max contract you're not going to be able to buy anything you know and I, like i said i don't even know if paul george is even going to be that answer for what you guys need you know everybody wants to go out here and get big names this big names that but like you got role players are just as important you know you can only you're only going as far as your role players you know in the playoffs so I don't think this is a good idea if you are the Warriors, you know. Um, like I said, they do need help. I don't know. Mm, I don't know what they could do. Um, they definitely should move on from people like and oh yeah, I forgot. And they're talking about re-signing. Uh, they already said that they already put an offer on the table for Clay Thompson, who's probably gonna re-sign that. So it's like, eh, you don't know what you're gonna get out of him either. You know, your bitch is not looking too good. You know what I'm saying? You got an old Chris Paul, you're gonna have Clay Thompson, like, yeah, I, I don't know. It, it doesn't look good. So I wouldn't do this if I was Paul George or if I was the, the Warriors. It's just not a just not a good fit, in my opinion, for either one. If, you know what I'm saying, they're trying to win a championship, which you know what you have in Steph Curry, who's 35, 36, Paul George, 34, it's championship or bust at this point. I don't feel like it, it's pretty much going to help either side. But you guys let me know what you feel in the comment section. Would this be a W? Would, would you really be able to stop Paul George with Steph Curry? Or do you think this is a bust? Let me know all this in the comment section. Again, don't forget to like up the video. Subscribe if you're new. And y'all already know who it is.